welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Crystal and today we are going to be doing a sinking fund for 2021. We have less than, well, we have less than two weeks. We've got about, what, nine days left um, before the beginning of the year. So I have already kind of um, started to think about my sinking funds for next year. So now I'm actually taking that information and um, creating a cute little insert for my planner just so that I have that information um, ready available and I can check it off once I have that particular expense. Um, so a sinking fund is basically just um, expenses that do not occur monthly um, but something that you know you'll need for next year. And so some things on my sinking fund list as you'll see is emergency fund, um, savings and then normally you will create a timeline of when you need those um, funds by so for example um, let's say um, school clothes for the kids um, let's say if I set a budget for 150 then I would need that money by August so I would set up for each paycheck up until the month of August to set aside a certain amount so that I can get the amount of money that I need. So um, we've got emergency fund savings, um, our car taxes. We are wanting to save for vacation. I don't know if it's going to happen, um, but we'll definitely do something if we can't go on a physical vacation. We've also got, of course, like home repair and car, which is gonna be like getting um, new tires for my husband's car as well as mine. We also have the holidays, birthdays, gifts, um, books for school, because we're both in school right now. Um, phone, my husband just got the iPhone 12. I wanna get the iPhone 12, but I don't wanna get it right now, but I do wanna get it probably before um, the end, before the end of February. So I am going to go ahead and put that down as well. And then I also want to get an iPad for my birthday, which is going to be in April. So that's an added expense because I don't want to put it on like a monthly plan. So I am going to pay outright for that. Um, so as you can see, I'm just putting down some of the budgeted amounts. So emergency fund a thousand, savings a thousand, um, car taxes, 400, 600 for vacation and so on. And so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and on the side, I am going to put in parentheses the amount of months that I need to save to get that amount or when I need that amount to be um, fulfilled. Now you'll see that at the top, I kind of stop um, because there are certain things at the top that we already have money set aside for. Um, and then I also have to make sure, you know, once I go through the 2020 budget review if there's any extra money those things will actually be taken care of first so i don't think i actually need to budget for those at the top i think we have enough um so i'm actually just going to leave those blank for right now until i actually do my budget for 2021 um now i did go ahead and add and you know, i forgot about my hoa and my health um which is just like co-pays and things like that um so i did put those in as well and as you'll see, I'm going down and I'm actually just putting on a scratch piece of paper um, how much I need to save from each paycheck to get that amount of money um, within that amount of months. And so the first one was 700 and I'm trying to get that within 12 months. So you can actually just do 700 divided by 24 because there's usually about 24 paychecks in a month, sometimes more. Um, in the year. So you'll see me go and do each amount and then um, based on the month, I'll multiply that by two because there are usually two paychecks within the month. So it's just a rough estimate. And then of course, if I have any extra money or I get any type of bonuses um, or you know just some type of additional income comes in, I will go ahead and put that towards one of my sinking funds. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just calculating how much I need for each paycheck um, for each of those expenses. And it looks like I need about $252 out of each paycheck there to be able to cover this. And like I said, once I actually go through my 2020 um, review, I'll be able to see exactly how much um, I already have. 
Um, and I'm gonna just go ahead and put just a little checkbox, we'll check circle next to each of the categories so that once I have those filled, I can check those off and then we are ready to go. Um, now what I want to do is I am just gonna go ahead and cut this out because I don't know if you guys saw, but behind the paper here is um, cardstock that I found and it's gorgeous and I just wanna use it because it's so pretty and I don't know about you guys, but me keeping goals and tracks and um, staying on track with certain things, if it's cute and colorful, um, it's just easier for me to do it. I don't know why. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut that out and then I am going to, um, just tape this sheet, um, onto the cardstock, um, and then I'm going to trim it out, um, meaning I'm going to trim it the size of a normal classic, um, happy planner page. And so, um, now all I'm doing is just getting that stuck down and I think I might laminate it. But I don't know yet. I'm still working on that. I might laminate it. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that down. And then once we've got that done, like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and place um, a normal classic Happy Planner page on top just so that I know exactly where to cut it so that it fits into my planner and aligns with all the other pages. Um, so I'm actually going to be right back guys. I'm going to go ahead and cut that out and come back. So I've cut it out um, to the size of my planner. I've also punched it on the side so that it can fit into the planner. Um, again, I might in the future laminate this, but for now I'm just going to go ahead and plug it into my planner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.